Welcome to Kitchen 143. I am your host, Michelle Aventajado, and I am excited to share some of the things that I love while we spend time together here in the kitchen. It's our second pandemic here. It's our second pandemic Halloween that we're having. And while nothing beats good old trick-or-treating, of course, we know that we have to be a little bit more creative in how we celebrate to make things fun and festive for the family. Despite getting vaccinated, we're certainly not out of the woods yet, so Halloween will be spent at home for now with smaller gatherings and perhaps just the family. Joining me in this episode of Kitchen 143, I am super excited. I have someone special sitting next to me. And um, we'll also be, this is my daughter Gia. Hello. And we will also be joined by friends um, Mo and Bells Peralta, Jane Santos, Sabrina Go, and of course, my daughter. So of course, as always, be sure to watch out for the quiz, the cook questions, because you know, five winners today will take home some goodies. And just in case you were curious as to what you're going to be taking home, we will show you. We have a heritage cake and other sweets from Mo and Bells. We also have a charcuterie box from Pantry Italy, inclusive of meats, cheeses, dried fruit. Um, we also have a Halloween kitty box from Mescloon Kids. Um, and then we have 12, a 12 piece cookie decorating set from The Little Whisk, which we'll show you on cam in a little bit and a six, six inch chocolate web pie from Sinfully Sabrina and six macaroons from Fat Fingers. And then we also have a really fun DIY cake kit from Ascot and um, By the Bay. So the other things that you'll get to take home, the last thing, of course, is a kahoy board, a wooden board where you can make your own charcuterie board or your own dessert board. Um, they'll either send you over a square one or a, a round one, which, of course, you can use any way you like in your kitchen. We like using them off. We like using them often for all different kinds of things. OK, so I want to bring on Cam. Um, Mo and Bells. Um, we know them for a while now, and they are, hi girls, they are third hi, generation you guys. bakers. Yeah. Um, you guys come from a family of kitchen lovers, just like us, yeah. right? You guys love spending <laughs> yes. time in the kitchen? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So aside yeah. from spending time in the kitchen, we know that Bells and G also before, they used to play volleyball together. So we actually go a, wa a ways back mm -hmm. and it's kind of fun to see these young ladies who have kind of stepped into this new role as entrepreneurs and business owners with their parents. Um, so first tell me girls, I would like you to share your first like kitchen love experience where um, you know, what your memories are, if they're with your mom or your Lola. Um, and then I would like to ask Gia too, what hers are, but you guys go first. Tell me about your kitchen, your kitchen love, okay. your relationship with food. So personally, Bells and I, we always looked forward to spending our weekends in Alabang with our grandmother, Aya, and watching our Nina Malu decorate cakes. And of course, the rest of the week was watching our mom in the kitchen and being her personal taste testers, but it was always a special time for us being in the kitchen with our family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I guess maybe growing up, it was more watching thing and really like participating. And so only recently we got to like cooking, baking ourselves. So like casually we do it growing up, but then now I guess it's more more of a commitment now. So. <laughs> more serious, I guess. <laughs> Definitely, definitely more of a, com a commitment. Does it take the fun out of it, though? Because you guys are now running the business. Mm, I guess there's always going to be that pressure, sort of. But um, I think that's where we really found out that um, our hearts in the right place. Because every time we're in the kitchen, it's always just like, our passion and our love for cooking and baking coming mm -hmm. out. Um, in the products we make as well. So I guess in One Bells, our vision is always to just really um, share our love from our kitchens to the homes of our 
customers. Yeah. Up here, yeah. In kitchen love. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so true. Okay. So kitchen love. How about you? When did you or what is your memory of enjoying the kitchen? And then we'll get into Halloween, but like your first kitchen experiences. Well, I think I've always like had memories of being in the kitchen and like bonding through food and us cooking together. Um, I think the first thing I really did on my own was baking, which is like kind of maybe it comes from you just doing all the cooking. So it's just like, oh, maybe this is how I can help a little bit. But so yeah. kind of like with my mom when I started baking. Then. Yeah. But I know like as I've gotten older, we've both gotten more adventurous together in like what we can do in the kitchen and the dishes that we like to make now. It's definitely like evolved. I think we empower each other in the kitchen. Definitely. I feel more brave when I know that you're there with me in case I make it. <laughs> how about you guys? How, how have you celebrated? Um, what's your kind of food that you guys celebrate for Halloween or for any of the holidays? Because for us, actually... Halloween is like the first gathering towards the end of the year. And then we have a lot of other gatherings after that, right? We have Thanksgiving, we have Christmas, we have New Year's. Halloween kind of kicks off the holiday season for me. And of course, for me, it's also flavors of fall and autumn and stews and crock pots and that kind of stuff. Um, what was your Halloween food? Mm -hmm. <laughs> or holiday food? Yeah, I think we always look forward to having our grandmother's turkey. Mm -hmm. So right now in Moen Bells, um, we offer um, our turkey. And for smaller families, we also offer um, the turkey, which is a jumbo chicken cooked exactly like we do our turkey. Mm -hmm. Right. So and I've right had there. the turkey. It's so good. It comes with bread stuffing and lots of gravy. So you don't have to worry. It's delicious. Um, easy to, of course, heat. Um, and you guys deliver it warm, right? So even if we yes. did, we didn't have to heat it if we wanted to eat it now. I think I'm going to have to heat it if I want to eat it later. <laughs> right, <maybe laughs> <it's fresh. laughs> when we eat it later. So I love that the turkey is like an option for smaller families. So you guys really have, um, you know, f big families and smaller families in mind when you create your dishes. Mm -hmm. That's now during the pandemic and not everyone can really, you know, get together physically. It's also good to have these small friends for yeah, smaller families. Right. Agree. But the we mentioned you were third generation cookers and bakers, right? right. Um, and your history with food, your relationship with food goes all the way back to your Lala and then your parents. Um, I know that a lot of the sweets that you guys, um, the cakes and the pastries, while you've come up with some new ones, you have some staples that have been in your family for quite a while tell us about the the original like the original business venture that um, your parents may have started right so um, of course we owe all our heritage to my grandmother Aya and this chocolate cake which is our best seller right now is from her um, my parents have been in the in the food industry for around 34 years I think and um, our first their first business venture or restaurant was along Katipunan. If you're from Katipunan, you probably would know Sweet Inspirations. So I think they established that 1988 and wow. um, they handled it for 10 years. Um, but there, yeah, I think that was the point where we knew that no, no matter what happened, food opportunities kept coming back to the family. And I guess um, that's really who we are. We're food people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, food needs. Yeah. yeah, but of yes. course, going up, we were just like in the kitchen. Yeah, we just taste testing. <laughs> yeah, there. You know, tasting is a very important job. You provide feedback. Yes, <laughs> there is as, as is stirring. <laughs> stirring is also like an entry job to cooking. Very <laughs> good. Very good. Yes, exactly. Okay, so for us, our holiday celebration, well, at least Halloween, because um, you know we moved from New York. Halloween was always like a fix it and forget it kind of dinner. I'd throw chili in the crock pot. I'd have some bread rising and then, you know, halfway in between going outside and trick or treating, I'd throw the bread in the oven. We'd go back out, finish our trick or treating. And then when we would come home, we'd have, you know, hot cocoa and 
um, chili with all the fixins and, mm -hmm. and freshly baked bread. Um, but here, so which isn't, that's actually more of an adult meal, I think, for Halloween. Um, but here, we have so many options. I want to just share some of the kitty options that we have on cam here. So Gia's going to actually show us how to um, decorate the DIY Scott's cake that our winners are going to be getting. And I know some of you guys, everyone in the, in the show today received it as well. Yes. So, um, it comes, it's a little cake and this, yeah, we'll, we'll just show you how she's going to decorate it really quickly. And then we'll show you some kitty food as well. That's not necessarily just kitty food, but good for kids at heart as well. So they sent like the cake and the icing and we did the icing beforehand. And then they send all these like fun meringues and things for you to put on top of the cake. So it's, it's a meringue ghost. Yeah. Um, the cake, we tried to decorate it to make it look like um, a pumpkin. So it's like, because they sent very fall, like colors, Halloween things. Super so easy. Super fun. And I think this is also a great little activity for the kids to do because it's small enough that um, they can have fun and their little hands uh, we'll be able to decorate it as well. And it comes with all the fun candy and gummies and chocolate and Skittles. Um, so while she's doing that, I went to, oops, while she's doing that, I'm going to show you guys the bento from, that you can also order from Mescloon Kids. So a lot of times, you know, we don't know what to, if we're going to have some of the kids there and we want the food to be a little bit more fun. Mm -hmm. um, Chef Kat has put together like a really yummy bolognese with squid ink pasta, which is fun. And believe it or not, Jelly loves squid ink pasta. And then some mummies, right? A, a donut with some Dracula teeth, all super fun and all super easy because all you have to do is order it. Okay. So while we show or show you guys, Gia will finish decorating the cake, but I would like to share something a little bit more adult um, and what I enjoy and Oops. what is fun for me um, for, for something that is like a very fall or autumn inspired dish. Um, October rolls around and I'm looking for pumpkin. Mm -hmm. I love pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin bread. I love pumpkin cookies, pumpkin pancakes. We make pumpkin muffins. Yeah. So there's nothing that I don't love about pumpkin. And for this, this is actually Gia's recipe. So she's going to walk you through how we make a gnocchi. Do you guys like a gnocchi, Mo and Bells? Definitely, Tita. <laughs> So yummy, right? Um, have you tried making it ever? No, Never. not yet. Maybe we can learn from Gia. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's super, super easy. easy. Yeah. Okay, so we'll show you guys how we make it. Um, and then, of course, I can go on and on about the fall flavors that I like. I think when I talk about fall, it's like pumpkin and apple and cinnamon and all those yummy things that, of course, adults will like. Mm -hmm. um, but I think kids at heart might like this, too. And if you guys like cheesy and yoki, this is really I think good. it's right up your alley. Yeah. OK, so we can show the video. So here we're adding um, potato flakes and hot water to the bowl and this is just like because um, it's dehydrated potato then we're adding in the pumpkin eggs super simple i think there's only five ingredients um then the egg goes in and then after that we're gonna add in the, the flour i guess so it's so far it's potato flakes water pumpkin flour egg and egg yep a um, little bit of salt and then oh. you mix it all together and then this is like the part where I'll get my brothers in I'll rope my brothers into helping um, though when you mix everything together and you have your dough form this is when you're gonna roll them out and cut them into little bites pillows yes pillows yeah. um, and then here we're just rolling it into a log so we can chop it up with a knife and then we did like a little squeeze shape but then I know a lot of other people also like roll it on the back of a fork. This is just something that's super easy. Yes. 
super easy. And then, so when you boil them, of course, make sure you salt your water always. When you boil any kind of pasta, you, you're, you want your water to taste like the sea, all right? And then when they float, when the gnocchi floats, you can just scoop them out. Um, flavors that go with pumpkin, garlic, cream, sage, bacon, bacon, butter, super yummy to just put all of these things together. So this is just a little bit of butter, some fresh sage, garlic, salt and pepper all the way. Um, a little bit more affordable version of bacon. We just use like the bacon bits sometimes in a recipe like this. Just a couple of tablespoons of cream. I've really been liking this Italian cream that I found in the market um, and it's perfect. So a lot of times when you cook pasta, you can add the starch water to your sauce to kind of thicken it. And of course it gives it more flavor. Um, then we added some cheese. It's great. If you had Asiago, you could order it from Pantry Italy. Mm -hmm. You just sprinkle that in there and then of course throw your gnocchi back in and toss and if someone is standing over your shoulder pretty sure they're going to try and steal a gnocchi <laughs> before you even plate it <laughs> so yummy and so easy to do right with those five yeah. ingredients yes. Like you can Super. change it up too. Like if you wanted to make it sweet potato or if you wanted to add like spinach, pulverized spinach mm -hmm. or spinach puree, Definitely. you could do that as well. Like there's so many different ways you could make a gnocchi and it feels special. Doesn't it feel right. special? Yeah. yeah. So great. All right. I, um, I think we're ready for a quiz the cook question before we um, bring on our next guest who will be joining us. But as always, of course, you guys know, if you want to participate in quiz the cook, you have to share the live stream. Share, 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 share that live stream on your page. Make sure it's set to public so we can see that you actually shared the live stream for us. Up for grabs, of course, is the heritage cake and cookies from Mo and Bells. The, the assorted charcuterie box from Pantry Italy. A Halloween, um, actually it's a Halloween brownie box from Mescloon Kids. A 12 piece cookie decorating set for um, the, the, from The Little Whisk. Um, a six inch chocolate web pie from Sab. And macaroons from Fat Fingers, a DIY cake kit, which Gia just finished on cam for you guys, and assorted uh, and a, a board, a cheese board, or if you wanna make it a dessert board, you can, from Kahoy Philippines. And so many of the things that we're using on the table today are actually from Kahoy Philippines. We really like wood when we serve. Okay, so the mechanics share. Um, you can share it either from the Rappler Facebook page or from the Mama and Manila page. And of course, if, um, because this is the first one, the first question, the first person to answer correctly will win. Ooh. Okay, right. should we show? Remember also, you, you have to be from um, the, you have to be from the Metro to win. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so remember that if you're from Metro Manila, you can win. Don't worry, there's no alcohol this week, so you don't have to be over 18. But there, um, there's tons of candy that you'll get. There is, the there sweet. is. Okay, so we'll read the question and then we'll say hello to some of our um, viewers who have tuned in. They always like to tell us where they're signing in from. Guys, remember we're live on the Rappler Facebook page, YouTube channel, and Twitter. And we're also live on the Mama and Manila page as well. So I'm so excited. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you girls ready? Ready. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Gia, you read this question. Okay. What? Yeah. What are the five ingredients for pumpkin gnocchi? Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. So while you guys are answering, I'm going to say hello to Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl. So Ooh. glad you're tuning in, of course. And we have apples and dumplings and Kath Eckstein. Hi, Kath, our resident mixologist. We should have made a candy martini for this episode. We also have Rowanna. Um, hi, Rowanna. 
Miriam Galing. She loves all the sweets. Mm -hmm. Who else do we have? I'm already eating. Oh, we have them. Andrea Romualdez is saying heart, Mo, and Bella. <laughs> Hi, <there>. Hi, Andrea. <laughs> okay, what else? Hey, Monique and Bella, so proud of you. Tina <laughs> Dario <laughs> Romualdez. Hi, Tita. Okay, so that's your Tita. Wait, did you say hello to your grandma yet? <laughs> yeah. Hi, Hi Aya. Aya. We miss you. <laughs> 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 okay, awesome. And then we also have Didi, Tiu, Tang. Thank you. I'm so happy that you think of me when we talk about Halloween because I know you're going to bring up our Oreo feast, our Oreo dessert feast that we put together. And we're going to actually talk about that later. Althea says pumpkin pie is a win-win. Mm -hmm. I agree. Hi, Mark. So glad that you're here again, Mark Ebo. Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. Mark, congratulations. We were just chatting. He was saying that he's been watching and he hasn't won. So Mark, you win today. You win the heritage cake. You win a chocolate pie from Sinfully Sabrina. You win a cookie decorating kit from the Little Whisk. You also win a Halloween cake from Scott's. You win um, cookies also also from Mo and Bell's, a charcuterie board box from Pantry Italy, some brownies from Mescloon Kids, and what else did I forget? The macarons. And uh, I think that's it. And the no, you get brownies there. So you will take home a Halloween feast that you do not have to prepare. And you will have your own desserts going on. It'll be so fun. You'll have a sweet board and a savory board for you to put together for all of your relatives who are going to come and visit you. <laughs> So there you go. Congratulations, Mark. I know that you do live in Metro Manila. Um, you know what's so fun is that some of our viewers, they really enjoy our show so much that you know what? We just had to invite one of our viewers <laughs> to <laughs> join us um, on cam today. Okay, so I would love to introduce my friend Jing D. Um, Domingo Santos, she <laughs> is here. Hi, Jing. Hey, Mish. Hey, Gia. <laughs> so we have here on Cam Mo and Bells with us. And then, of course, Hi, Jing, Jing and I are the resident titas today for before <laughs> Sab comes on. So um, how are you? How are you doing? Good. I'm pretty good. I'm excited to share with you stuff about cheese plates today. Excellent, excellent. And so is a cheese plate something you would make for Halloween, your Halloween celebration with the kids? Any random Tuesday is cheese plate day for me. <laughs> so yes. There we go. So there doesn't have to be a special occasion to put together a no. cheese board or a cheese plate. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, Jing, you have some fans. We have um, Didi is saying, hi, Jane Santos. Oh, <laughs> the so ultimate funny. fan. Ha -ha. So she's your fan too. Um, okay, so um, just for the viewers, I will let you guys know, um, Jing and I go way back. We know each other from blogging and um, I've watched how um, her she has put together her kitchen in such a way that is like super organized, great ideas. Actually, when I follow her, Gia and I, I think Gia is like a Tita at heart because she'll <laughs> say, mom, did you see Tita Jing's coffee nook? Did you see like how she fixed her, you know, whatever yes. it is. So she's always yeah, eyeing definitely. things yeah. that she wants, you know? <laughs> yeah, so she does. She's like, did you see Tita Jing's post today? Um, and so she always gives me really? kitchen. Yes, <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> we don't need to embellish <laughs> for real. Yeah. So um, we talk, you know, Gia and I have talked like, oh, wow, she has really great ideas. She, she like does things so well. Um, so why don't you tell us about um, your newfound love for cheese plates and how you put them together and then we can show your um, your tutorial and you can walk us through how to set up a cheese plate. Sure. You know, Mish, it can be a little bit overwhelming when you make your own cheese plate for the very first time. I remember when 
I first tried to make one. I went to Pinterest. And there I saw amazing photos of cheese plates that are so grand and made by professional cheese platers. And right. I was so intimidated. Won't you be intimidated after seeing all these, you know, enormous cheese boards filled to the rim with all of the ingredients super. on it? So, super, right? super. And not, yeah, yeah. So, you know, every time that I make a cheese plate, I realize something that once you, um, broke down, once you break down all the ingredients into different components, it's super easy to make. And you guys can make at home. Right, right. You know so what I for, love about yeah. cheese plates and, and cheese boards or just like boards in particular is that if you are entertaining, you can fix the board and like walk away and guests can help themselves, mm -hmm. right? Right, so it's, yeah, so it's really important to have a little bit of something for everybody. So, you know, Agreed. what are the five, yeah. So now, um, what are the five components of a cheese plate? So maybe you can guess one. Me? Do you wanna guess cheese. one? Yeah. Cheese, cheese of course, <laughs> right? <laughs> you, you can't call it a cheese board without any cheese. So me, um, personally, my favorites are Grana Padano, Brie and pecorino, no. Right. So and then, very European yeah. cheeses. You you favor European cheeses, I guess. <laughs> yeah. You know what I like about them is when you have leftovers, which is very seldom. You know, when you have leftovers, you can reuse them the next day. You can use them the next day for your pasta, your sandwiches. Right. right. So everyone can enjoy it. Fantastic. So we have cheese. Yeah. Cheese. And the do next one, through, always, do you want to do you want to walk us through the ingredients of what goes in a good cheese board when we show your video? Oh, what sure. Yes. All right. No problem. We can roll it. So here I'm cutting the cheese. I think this is Gruyere. So I'm making it into batonets using this cheese cutting board that's really precise. It has like a ruler on it <laughs> so you can measure Very it. Exact. it right? <laughs> so these are um, Grana Padano triangles. I so love it's that It's important board. to have the French tapes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, this is now, yeah, I'm making a salami river. It's, this is what they call it as such. So it's important to make sure that your meat is not sticking to each other. Okay. This so is I'm uh, making a salami roast using a champagne flute. It's very easy to do. And that looks like the truffle salami from Pantry Italy. Yeah, it is. Sorry. Yeah, it is the truffle salami. Yum. So here I'm arranging it in just a pattern just to add visual interest. And then and I, I love that you use the yes. square board, and this one is from Connor. Yes. Like it yeah. is, yes, it's so pretty. Mm -hmm. So, so far on the board, we have we have the cheese, the cold cuts, then here's the fresh grapes, dried apricots, some crackers. Mm -hmm. These are just plain soda crackers. And then I'm adding, these are fig and olive toasts that I made from my kitchen. Yum. They look delicious. I mean, everything yes. looks delicious. Yeah. So are all five components on the board already? Not what yet. What would we have these here? Another cheese. Um, these are dried figs. I'm adding dried figs. Then some dried cranberries. Which you can also get from Pantry Italy yes. as well. You can get it from Pantry Italy. And then the final thing to add is, of course, your garnish. I'm just using fresh rosemary from my garden. And so there those, you have it. It's beautiful. So those five components you. that you would say is important to have on your boards would be, I said cheese it's first. Right. Cheese. And then your meat. It can be your cold cuts, it can be whatever you like, sausages, 
or even buffalo wings. You can add it there. Wow. And then, oh, yes. By the box, yeah. Yeah, you know how buffalo wings pairs well with um, blue cheese, right? Yes. So, yes, yes. That's so yummy. I bet we could even put bocorones on a board, too. Yeah. It's not a meat, but yeah. it is a protein, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, sad, you know, as long as, as as long as it's edible and you like to eat it, you can put it on your board. Go ahead. There's no there's no rules. <laughs> That's right. There's no rules, but we do have guidelines that we all follow in our own kitchens. Yes. So for you, you right. have beef and cheese. Yes, and then I like to put on bread or crackers on it, and then the fourth component that I would put on my cheese board it's what i call the add-ons this can be your fresh produce your fruits and vegetables your nuts your jam your honey your chocolates you know okay yes and and then the last one would be your garnish it can which be in fresh this case your rosemary right yes. i put rosemary you can put thyme you can put edible flowers too so. oh that would probably be so yeah. fun Mo and Bells, how about you guys? Do you guys make cheese boards or like grazing bars when you guys are all together? I know you have a big family too. Yeah. yeah. Actually, our, our Tidas and our Lala, they, they do that for sure every mm -hmm. occasion that we have. Oh. Yeah, everybody likes cheese. So we have a lot yeah. of cheese. <laughs> Absolutely. You can't go wrong with cheese. And you can have, never have too much cheese. Yeah. Well, maybe I could. I yes. <laughs> I'm a little older now, so dairy isn't oh. always my best friend, but that's okay. Um, I still love it. It's worth the pain. Um, so for me, when I when we do our cheese boards, just like Jang, we like a lot of variety there. I like I like to switch from like salty to sweet, Ooh. fresh yes. to dried, like the fresh grapes that you had on there to the dried cranberries. Yeah. And then kind of like the soft, creamy cheeses with a crunchy cracker. So for yes, me, it creates I, a sort of balance. Right? Yes. There you go. We're always after the balance. I think that's like the key word. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Mm -hmm. So we have lots of viewers who are checking in. Kathleen Marie says so she would like to add truffles, um, or maybe she liked the truffle mm. salon at Pantry Italy mm -hmm. um, supplied for your board. Um, and then you have a fan, another fan, Jing, Melissa Villa Maria Cura Ming. Oh, hey, Mel's. She's saying hello. And Pam is excited to try this on Halloween. Guys, if you're a winner, you'll get to try all of these things and Ooh. make them at home. So let's go over what you would win if you are one of the lucky winners. This is question number two. So it's one, four. Winner number four, I'm um, sorry. The person who answers correctly will win if you're the fourth person. Okay, so let's go over what we're winning. From Mo and Bells, we have a heritage cake and some assorted cookies. From Pantry Italy, we have all of our curated meats and cheeses with dried fruit as well. So you'll have an assorted one. It might not be exactly like this one, um, but you'll have a nice balance. Again, just like Jing said, um, we'll also be supplying some macarons from Fat Fingers. And then we have a spider web pie from Sinfully Sabrina. We have a DIY cookie decorating kit from um, The Little Whisk, which I'm going to show you in a little bit. And then those are her cookies there, those sugar cookies, super cute. And then we also have a DIY cake, a Halloween cake. And we you will also get some... Halloween brownies from Mescloon Kids. So you guys will have your own little savory sweet board um, ingredients to play with. Mm -hmm. And while we read, okay, so we are going to maybe Jing, you can read the next question. And then when we're waiting for those answers, we're gonna show you um, the kit of what comes in the DIY cookie decorating kit from The Little Whisk. So, Jane, go ahead. Let's ask the viewers if they were paying attention. <laughs> sure. What are the components of a balanced cheese board? According to According me. According to her. 
Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we're starting to Jing, of course. So yes. you said that there were five components. And those components, while we are waiting for everybody to answer correctly, because remember, we can only answer, um, we can only take the answer from number four, you have to have shared the live stream. And of course, um, you have to live within Metro Manila because everything is perishable. So we're going to show you this Halloween cookie decorating kit that you will also be winning from the little whisk. And while we're showing this. Let's bring on Sabrina because Sabrina uses, she does these coo cakes with um, Maggie from the Little Whisk and she also can offer insight into these cookies. Hi, Sab. How are you? Hi. Yes, I love those sugar cookies. They are the cute. <laughs> right. So this actually is a kit that um, the kids can do by themselves. If you had them over for this, you know, your gathering, you can go ahead and give them the kit because everything is complete, right? It has um, 12 cookies, little candy decorations that Maggie hand types herself. Um, you can fill them in. Comes with icing. 12 different types of cookies, super cute, of course, very easy. You just snip the tip off with the icing, just like you do with the cakes, comes with sprinkles, all in our Halloween theme. So we can actually pull some out and leave them on the counter if we like, no? Because it's colorful and fun. I'll pick out all the different kinds of cookies. Yeah. And then you get 12 cookies. So guys, these are already activities. This is like the kind of thing that oh. I would set out. They're so cute. They all have different faces. This one's surprise. The little jack-o'-lanterns. So you can tell we love Halloween. And we like the little whisk, Sab. I know you guys, um, you and Maggie have some fun things um, that you guys do together. Uh, yep. the, the two cakes that are all in theme, right? You we use can combine um, her cookies, the Little Whisk cookies with my cakes. Um, yes. We can customize it to any theme that you want. And it's fun and it's, um, you know, they can pick up the cookies also afterwards as snacks as well. Right. And the cookies, you know, these sugar cookies, sometimes you get sugar cookies and they don't taste good. Oh my gosh. These taste so good. Yeah. These actually taste good because Maggie has a little yes. secret she puts in there, some citrus. And sometimes if you want cinnamon during the holidays, like she does, um, she's really amazing that way. And um, I love, these are always on the table for celebrations for us and birthdays and, uh, you know, of course for Halloween too. So I think we may have a winner. Okay, we do. Um, Grace, uh, uh, Grace, Jing, do you see the winner? Would you mind announcing? Because this is your question. Yes. Okay, the winner is Grace Marquez. Congratulations. Congratulations. You get to take home a full sweets buffet. <laughs> for your yeah. Halloween gathering, and then a savory board, a board from Kahoy Philippines, where you can set everything up and, of course, treat everyone, um, you know, like the ghosts and ghouls that they are. No tricks, just treats, Ooh. of course, savory or sweet, which is what we're doing today. So Sab and I, we have, so we have kitchen sisters there, Mo and Bells, who are born of the same mother. <laughs> <laughs> they are really, they are sisters, but I totally consider Sab one of my kitchen sisters because we get to have so much fun. And actually our first friendship date, we baked and cooked together. <laughs> so instead of, you know, moms who say, hey, let's go for coffee or let's go for happy hour, Sab and I actually said, can we cook together? <laughs> exactly. So, and more, more than that, can we cook? together for other people right <laughs> that's right which is how of course we got started um when we were supposed to teach some dishes and then it became mothers who brunch and became this whole big thing where we of course started teaching others as well on um how easy it is to spend time in the kitchen yes i think um our first one ever 
2015, yeah, that was, that's how long we have been in the kitchen. And a lot of times when we do things, um, we, we kind of plan the theme. So, and Sab and I really also love Halloween. I don't know, should, could, could we show, let's see where we are in terms of, maybe we're not, okay, we won't, but we do, we will show you. Sab, I know um, Jing made a savory board and um, you made a sweet board with lots of the, the products that we have um, on, you know, on cam showing everybody. Um, and, you know, aside, so aside from making things yourself, you know, you bake cakes, you make pies. Um, I know you also do, you know, number and letter cakes, all these different kinds of things that everybody really ends up enjoying for their celebrations. Um, how would you put together a dessert spread uh, for the family if you were having people over? Well, of course, as much as, you know, even if I cook, even if I bake, I can't do it all. So oh, here. <laughs> you know. So um, I'm happy to you know find about these um, merchants that make it easy for us to entertain. Well, like Mo and Bells. Like Mo and Bells. <laughs> um, yes. Like the you know uh, Little Whisk and Scotts and other decorating kits and Miss Blue as well. I mean. There's really a bevy of choices for, for everybody to make and to make it easier for us moms <laughs> or as any as any entertainer um, for any events that we may have. So yeah, so you can cook, but you can also order different things to make it right. Easier. <laughs> Agree, because we don't have to slave. And of course, we know, you know, actually, there's been a proliferation of so many different people who make really good dishes. And, you know, through the pandemic, since we're all at home, they started selling their like their famous Kalios or, you know, the, these extra dishes that people would normally just serve their families. Yeah. And now they're selling too. So when you find someone, for me, of course, yeah. I like to <laughs> right? We want to share. We share with everyone. We share with our friends. We share with other moms. And of course, we're sharing with all the viewers. So we have our viewers tuning in from all different um, places. Of course, they're very excited to be winning. Grace mm -hmm. says, thank you. Okay, so guys, do let us know if you have any questions about desserts, about how to put together a dessert buffet or a cheese board, um, or, you know, what are the best ways, what are the best dishes to serve on Sunday for Sunday family lunch, different things like this. Of course, all the, all the ladies on camera can offer their expertise for all of you. Um, Sab, do you want to share your dessert board that you made with us? Yes, sure. We can roll the video. <laughs> yeah, so we board. Um, this board is a little bit for the kids and a little bit for the adults as well. Um, we put, of course, Mo and Bell's cakes, uh, cake and cookies on Kahai Philippines' board. Um, and then I have the pie there, the chocolate web pie, just to add, you know, some something for the theme as well and then um those colorful cookies by the little whip um just add a little bit of whimsy to to the theme to halloween and then um so these are things that you can order but i also bought uh in the grocery these gummy eye eyeballs <laughs> so i just put it on top of the moan bells heritage cake just to make it a little bit more fun for the kids and then, of course, we have um, Fat Fingers Macarons to add another bunch of color to the board. And then, so there is to see the back of the adults, but I know my, kid, my son loves them too. And then we have for the little ones, the little wisp spider cookies. You have to pick up. I have a huge piece of chocolate in my mouth. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Resist. We picked up one of the, one the cookies. Of the cookies. 
<laughs> and it's like a chocolate bar. It's got so much. It's so good. Okay. Just That's to give from you an idea. Look at how big that chocolate chunk is. <laughs> so, Sab, you used um, all of the partners who were here in the episode. You put things together that are also adult, but you made them a little whimsical with adding the theme. And that's something that I feel like you and I do that really well, actually. Mm -hmm. um, I love when we come together and we get to celebrate Halloween. But I think we have another quiz the cook question. Um, and we will ask, uh, I'll ask Chia to read it. Um, up for grabs, you guys know. So, Sab. Did you share those cookies after you made the board? Did you share them with the boys? Because they're so no, good. I did not. I did not <laughs> Put them in the microwave, right? For a little yeah, for 20 time. seconds. And it's so good with the bomb inside to melt. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Even not but my husband loved the Biscoff um, Snickers. White chunk. Yeah. yeah. Yes, correct. Okay. <laughs> Stop. No, they're mine. No. <laughs> no, so you can microwave the the chocolate. Yes, chocolate. The, I think for us it's best eaten warm. So the thing to do is just pop in pop it into the microwave for fifteen to twenty seconds for the chocolate bomb inside to melt. Yeah. So good. It actually we didn't microwave it, obviously. We just took a bite while we were here on cam and the edges are crispy and the center is chewy, which is exactly how I love my cookies. Um so okay, Bay Lagda Mayo is sending you guys hearts. <laughs> Mo and Bell. <laughs> Ashley Go says it's super cute. Ashley, I'm not sharing the cookies oh, Ashley, with Gia. Yeah. Um and then Maria <laughs> Queenie. Maria Queenie Mance. So um, she says, my kids uh, will love it. And she hopes to win. Well, good luck, you Maria Queenie. I hope you win too. And so uh, make sure if you want to win, you have to share the live stream. Make sure it's set to public. And of course, let's show you guys what you're going to win again. We have the Heritage Cake and other cookies from mm -hmm. Mo and Bells. We also have a Pantry Italy charcuterie box. We have some macarons from... Um, fat fingers, a spider web pie from Sinfali Sabrina, which is also the BNP project. So you guys can ask her about her bocarones later. We also have a cookie decorating kit from the Little Whisk, a um, DIY Halloween cake kit from Scott's. And um, we also have some brownies, some Halloween brownies from Mescloon Kids. Um, and they... They um, are just as good as they are fun and lovely. So here is the third question. Now for the third question, you know we're kitchen one, four, three. So the third person to answer correctly will win all of these yummy prizes. So you can make your own sweet and savory board at home. Trick or treat. It's about my feet. <laughs> it is supposed to be savory or sweet. <laughs> okay, so obviously she really would say that when she was a kid. I did. She really would go to I the doors. Say it now, trick or treat, smell my feet. Good thing her feet don't smell. At least not when she's playing volleyball. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, I didn't know you. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so Mo and Bell's family were the original, here's the question, the original owners of what popular Katipunan bake shop? So while we are waiting for the correct answer, so that would be the third person to answer correctly, who lives in Metro Manila and who shared the live stream on their wall already. Um, let's see if they were paying attention, guys. Uh, let's see. Okay, looks answers. like we have some answers, but of course, remember, we need to take the third person to answer correctly. 
for all of these goodies from um, you, even your board, right? I think I forgot to mention Kahoy Philippines also. Um, they have a variety of boards. Like this is perfect. I would say this is a meat and cheese board for one. <laughs> 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 this is good enough for this me. This is a meat and cheese board. <laughs> <laughs> this is my meal. This is what I will, you know. I have the exact food. same one. I have right? that. So fun. And yes, um, from Kahoy yeah. Philippines. You were even saying like that Kahoy Philippines has like this beeswax to take care of your 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 wood yes. as well. Yes, they have what they call um wood balm which you apply on your wood um, plates and boards once a month so that they won't crack and stay on top shape there you go and so you do it once a month and then you put the beeswax wait all the cookies fell they were so cute I tried my best. can i just show you guys these cookies we do have a winner look at that oh, ghost how cute is so that cute ghost? and then we have a mummy Hello. mummy can I show what it? Yes. Oh, yes. You should show yours because you're you have the adult cookies. Yeah, this one's my favorite. Oops. The famous so Halloween character cookies. And oh, those are big. Fun. Those are so fun. There. Chucky. Is that Chucky? <laughs> so those are big and fun. So, so really, actually, Maggie. Excuse me, over at the Little Whisk, she can make any kind of yes. character themed yes. that you like. And like K dramas and stuff. Oh, yes. yes. You did one for yes. your friends. Yes. So, for one of my friends' birthdays, um, I sent her a kit, a kit, a set of um, cookies that were all Doctor Stranger themed because that was her favorite K drama. And it was so super fun. Raise your hand if you like K dramas. <laughs> well so now you know you can even have k-drama cookies made as well so we do have a winner and i am so excited to announce this winner you know i love it when um our viewers tune in and i know how much they will enjoy these prizes because they have kids too. Um, and so I just want to say apples and dumplings, congratulations. Yay. We Yay. are so excited for um, your kiddos to enjoy the treats from uh, Moe and Bells, Symphony Sabrina, Fat Fingers, The Little Whisks, Scots, um, Mescloon, Cahoy, and of course, Pantry Italy. So enjoy that. Congratulations. Yay, Yay. Yay. congratulations. And don't worry if you haven't won yet, there still are two more opportunities to take home all of these treats that you guys can um, make at home for your trick or treat. Savory sweet. Yes. <laughs> I really was going to say smell my feet again. I had to like think about it a little bit. <laughs> so, um, so trick or treat savory sweet boards at home that you guys can put together for your family, your kids, whoever's coming over to celebrate. Okay, so desserts. We know that Sab, of course, enjoys making desserts, Mo and Bells. Um, but one thing that we have really enjoyed, and Gia enjoys this just just as much as. Tita Sab and myself, and of course, Tita Jing. Yes. And I know Mo and Bells as well, but we love making things themed. Yeah. So this is where we see like the things that we combine and put together that could be store-bought, that could be ordered from our favorite neighborhood be bakery, homemade. could be homemade, could be a mix and match or of, of like pretty much anything. And actually, um, we've done this quite a few times because of mm -hmm. course, we want, <coughs> excuse me, we want to make things easy, but we also want to make them fun. And we don't want it to be like, like something that's done. Yeah, because we don't want to be in the kitchen stressed out. Mm -hmm. 
Actually, that's another thing that Sab and I kind of balance each other out in the kitchen. Sab is super calm when she's handling things and she's putting things together. And sometimes I, I will admit, you'd be nice. <laughs> be nice to your mother. All right. Um, I will admit her um, margarita story. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, you can tell that. I think that's so indicative of how you and I work in the kitchen. Yeah, so a few, I think like the first or second time that maybe we cooked together, um, I got to, to her house, to Mitch's house, and then she was like frowning already, and I'm like, oh, what happened? And she's like, oh, the, I think we were making tiramisu or something. <laughs> I broke the mascarpone. Ah, yeah. I, I broke the mascarpone. It was expensive. <laughs> but you only get a tub and then that should be enough, right? But it broke and she was, I don't know, frowning already. So I'm like, you know what? I I have something here with me. <laughs> Tequila and uh, calamansi uh, sherbet. So we're going to make two ingredient margaritas. <laughs> Yes. Best margaritas problem. ever. Yes. <laughs> so good. They soothed my broken heart over my mascarpone that was wasted. So after after making three sips, we were happy now again. Yeah. Happy now. Having a good time. And it didn't matter I that did. the tears were was broken. But we have another kitchen <laughs> sister who's online. She's just said hello. Hi, Maggie. So Maggie from The Little Whisk is tuning in. So if you guys want to say hello Hi, to her, you can say hello. Hi, Hi Mags. Um, OK, so let's share some of the things that we've done. Of course, we like to dress up for Halloween. Um, we like to, the kids wear costumes, like for Gia and the kids. When Jelly was very small, they still allowed me to dress them up in a themed costume. <laughs> but the difference is now she's like, she's 22 and Jelly's 10. So she's not always as game. I think you're still game for Jelly though. I think it will just depend on what it is. But the boys are not, Definitely right? not. So No, well, they, they will be game to dress up if it's not so much, so much effort has to not be a lot of effort. So in other words, mom can't go extra, right? <laughs> mom can't go extra. So here are some of the things that Gia and I, and then Sabrina and Gia and I have put together for our Halloween gatherings. So we'll share some photos that just to give you guys some inspiration. Um, we did this, this was for a So Moms. This is actually Kai, apples and dumplings. Um, she put together. Yeah. This one we did together. This was her first dessert buffet, and it was a collaboration with Apples and Dumplings mm -hmm. and the Phenomenal Mama and Gia of Entahado. Mm -hmm. And oh, Mark Doodlebob custard. And um, then you know some simple cupcakes with Oreos on top. We just cut the uh, Oreos into tombstones. Um, and then it says, hi, Becky. Okay, so Becky says, hi, beautiful ladies. Gia, you explain the photos. Okay. Hi, beautiful ladies. Shout out to the Redolosa family and Australia family. Yeah. So this is another cake that we did. It was just um, a plain cake. And chocolate then cake. A plain chocolate cake. And then we covered it in... Oh, no, this was with the balls. Yeah. Yeah. So, no, actually, it wasn't plain. It was more effort than that. There are little cake balls in the cake that made it polka dot on the inside, which was super cool. And then we used the Oreos again on the outside to make little spiders. So this was an Oreo themed buffet for a dessert buffet for Halloween. So we incorporated Oreos in as many dishes as we could. So we can show the next couple of slides. Also cake balls, Oreo cake balls, very easy to do with icing and then just using paper straws from Paper Chic, um, Paper Chic Studio. And this is Gia's like go to dessert. It's an adult dessert. I ask her to make it often. And I make it often because she asks me often. <laughs> but this is a lemon tart. And then we just put some Halloween stuff around it because you can't, we didn't, I didn't know how to make it Halloween at that yeah. point. Yeah. But I think that's also the balance. Like everything doesn't have to be themed. Yeah. Because if you have parents who are there, like the parents aren't going to want all of that stuff. They might just want a piece of lemon tart like me. Mm hmm. 
Okay, and then that next slide. So this is what it looked like, finished product. Um, wow. It was super fun. We had lots of different things on there. There were easy ones like Rice Krispie treats. And then we even got some donuts and just put like red M&Ms with va plastic vampire teeth, which are super fun. We didn't have to bake anything in that case. It's oh, just- And these are milk. Um, yes. gla glass milk containers and we just put so some cute. Milk. Kai made those as well mm -hmm. so she spent you know she got 12 milk bottles and made them into mummies super cute there are those donuts super easy Dracula teeth like how easy could that be mm -hmm. right um what else yes and then Sab why don't you tell us about this one so a few years back, we were super into Game of Thrones. Or I, maybe I was super into Game of Thrones, and I and I, I supported you. I supported yeah. you in that. <laughs> uh, yeah, Mish supported me in doing a themed um, brunch with some friends. We also had some friends who were game enough to decorate and you know help us with some of the dishes. Um, that was the white box, Deba. Right? Yes. The white yes. Box. They made those um, little flags, and then there. I, if you're familiar with Game of Thrones, there's the dragon eggs. They made, they used pineapple there to look to the dragon eggs, and then they painted it, so it made it look like dragon. Wow. And then, of course, we also have those um, those cookies that of you requested. Course. Yeah, we had. Um, well, the donuts was were yummy also. And then we have um, the, the head of Ned Stark on a, on a, on a, on a stake. On a stick by, by Little Wiz there. Oh. <laughs> so so how fun, fun is that? I'm just glad um, everybody was game <laughs> to do this. Yeah, and of course, um, it can't be like a, a, mid, uh, a middle, you know, what do you call that? Like um, a cheese that? cheese board, a cheese well, board, a cheese board, um, like old style, like vintage style. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Very impressive. So and of course, it's always fun to do, you know, little fun things like this with friends because they get creative in the kitchen and get creative with us as well. Mm -hmm. um, all of the food, of course, was very adult because we all are adults <laughs> in the photo. We had like beetroot salad. Um, I think you even made the, the chicken pie. Yeah. Right? The, the crown. The crown. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Oh, my gosh. I forgot about <laughs> Yeah, I should have had a picture of that. Another thing we did together, so Ant's Pocket is someone that I super love for activities for the kids as well. So let's say you didn't want to do sweets and you just wanted to do crafts. She has felt crafts that you can sew and put together. She does these like five things in a box or seven things in a box. You get like a whole kit and it's good for the kids to like be occupied. And in this case, we asked her to do Halloween monsters. So they're Halloween monsters, but they're kid friendly monsters. Cute, no? Um, so then we did little mummy pizzas, which of course, again, super easy, mini pizza dough, you just grate your moths and throw olives for um, eyes. This one was really fun. Sab, tell them about this one, because this one was totally your idea. <laughs> This is the, you know, the seven layer dip, but like we put um, the gravestone uh, using pita chips. So the graveyard taco dip. Yum. Who doesn't love seven layer dip? We love taco dip. Dip, dip. <laughs> I'm a dipper. Um, and then, and I think we have, yeah, there's All another angle. And I think we have um, a couple of more from this and, and I think that's it. Yeah, the graveyard, the, the, Coffin Coffee sandwiches. Coffee. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I think there's it was the best food chicken spread. Right? Yes. This was my chicken salad that I've shared quite a few times in different different ways. And this one. Oh yeah, this one was the shrunken head um apple it was an apple cider drink, right? Yes. yes. We made it we made it kid friendly because this was a kid yes, celebration. Yes. But ideally those apples were supposed to be a little more drier so you leave it out so that it really looks like shrunken heads. Our, our apples were fresh here. <laughs> mm. 
perfect. Cool. Very fun. So of all of the things that um, you guys, that Sab, that you're doing, actually, we mentioned earlier about your bocarones, and we also mentioned earlier that um, everybody's receiving a six-inch spider web pie, right? Mm -hmm. um, so you have a little, uh, a little, like, name for this, this, this project that <laughs> that you have, right? Tell us about the bocarones. Okay, so we have we started. My husband and I started the. BNP, like the Bocarones and Pie project. Actually, the first part, the Bocarones part, um, started out really that, you know, since we can't travel, um, I really missed Bocarones and Vinagre in Spain. So I was like, maybe I'll, I'll try to do it. And I was able to find the particular fish needed to to make that dish. And then when I made it, I over-ordered like a few kilos over. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like overestimating. <laughs> so um, I sold it to, a, to this community and on Facebook, like this um, kitchen directory on Facebook. I know that one well. Yeah. So and and the response was I know was really talking. So so we were we were like oh, okay maybe this can be you know a more regular thing and then so we started that. And then recently, um, I started being into Facebook. And so that's how it involved, evolved into the BNP project. <gasps> what if yeah. I bite it? You don't bite it. No. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's like munching on everything I next gummy to bears. me. She's munching on she everything next bears. to me. Well, you know, Fab, you mentioned the Bocarones, and they're from, um, it's Spanish, right? Spanish. They're, are they anchovies? Yes, um, they're anchovy fillet marinated in um, vinegar, and then I top it off with, like, a diced onion, sparkling, and so I find crackers, so it's also a perfect cheese. Yes, actually, Jing and I were talking about putting it even on the boards. You could put it on the boards. And when Nino yeah. and I were doing keto, we put them, we didn't put them on crackers. Yeah. We put them on cucumber rounds. Yeah. So mm -hmm. they were perfect. Carb-free. Carb-free. So super mm -hmm. yummy. And, you know, a lot of us also at this time, we can't travel, yeah. right? So what do we do? We look for dishes or food or um, desserts or apps, you know, whatever it is that we're looking for from that country or that comfort food. And we end up making it at home. And when you find someone who can make it well, of course, then it makes it even easier. Yeah, we hope in different ways. Um, <laughs> Right. I would say I've been coping with food quite well during quarantine. <laughs> How about you girls? Mo and Belle, have any of those new things come out of your kitchen recently since you guys have been, um, well, one, more active in the business? And then two, of course, you have a little bit more time on your hands. I know, Mo, you're also in OT. Are you still um, seeing patients or clients? Um, right now, Tita, I had to stop for a while. Because all my kids um, had to focus on other things as well. I mean, it's a rough time for the parents too. Right. And uh, no. so I decided to focus on Mo and Bells. So I've actually been doing the decorating side of the, the cakes as well. Inspired by Arnina Malou, who's the best baker, the best cake decorator here. Props to Malou. <laughs> you hear your nieces? <laughs> no, like, Growing up watching her, I didn't know that it would um, have an effect on me today. So um, to everyone watching, if, you, if you're looking for anything customized, um, you can send over your pegs to us so we can bring to life your dream cakes. Mm -hmm. yeah. As well. Fantastic. So we have um, ladies here who are all creative in doing so many different things. And it's just so nice that we can come together, of course, and 
all for the sake of Halloween and sharing with all of you different ways that you can bring these treats into your home for your family. I think that brings us to our fourth question, which of course, you know, when we do our questions, it's one, four, three, four, four. Now, if you're of the certain age, you know what that means. <laughs> and since this is the fourth question, it's for the fourth person who will answer correctly, who has shared the live and who has also um, who also lives in Manila, right? Metro Manila. What are we giving away today from our partners? We have the Heritage Cake and Cookies from Mo and Bells. We have a charcuterie box from Pantry Italy, a very well-balanced charcuterie box. We have a 12-piece cookie decorating set um, from, the, from Little Whisk. We also have a spiderweb pie from Sinfully Sabrina, some macarons from Little, uh, from Fat Fingers, and we have some brownies from Mescloon. So all of these things are super fun. We also have a, a DIY Scott's cake, right? So guys, these are actually, don't plan anything that much for the kids because if you're gonna win these prizes, these are all the treats your kids will need um, for, for their for your celebration. So while you guys are noshing on the savories, the kids can go ahead and put together their own little snacks. So that capicola, and that's the salami picante, I know, Jim. That's the one. Yes, yes. So these it's are a little all, bit spicy. <laughs> it's a little bit, but it's just right. You can yeah, balance it. Just right. You can have exactly. Some cured yeah. olives, and then if you had some fresh fruit, that's sweet. And of course, guys, you'll also receive a board from Kahoy Philippines to put it all together. So if you decide, it won't be this board. You'll probably get like a square board, like what Sabrina used for the sweet board, or a, a round board. Um, not that one exactly, but a round board. So you'll have the opportunity to make your own sweet and savory boards at home. So here's the question if you were paying attention. In the B&P project, what does B&P stand for? Remember, this is the number fourth, the fourth person who will answer correctly and um, they will, they have to, let's see, if we actually ask them, do they have to spell it correctly? Because yeah. <laughs> not everybody will know, right? But if they know, they know. Um, you know you what know. does that stand for? So guys, while we are, um, don't be sad if you don't know this one. Hopefully someone will. But if you don't know this one, there is still one more chance to win a whole slew of sweets and savories that you can take home, of course, and celebrate with your family. Because we know that, you know, Halloween is the first, like, it's not really a holiday, right? It's something for the kids. Um, and it's something that um, is, I know it's, it condones giving all this candy and these sweets. But, that's okay, right? Because we're coming up to the end of the year. This is our second Halloween in, in quarantine. And I think it's okay um, as we come together. It looks like we have a winner. Before we announce our winner, I will say hello to Maggie and Sab. She's just saying, I miss having Halloween parties with all of you. Yes. We miss that too. We have friends giving coming up that we would normally be celebrating together, right? Because Halloween is the first holiday that we kick off and then we have Thanksgiving and Christmas and of course, New Year's. Um, but let's announce the winner. We have, Gee, do you wanna announce it? Time to Hada. Time to Hada. Congratulations. Yay. You correctly with Bocarones and Pies. Ooh. So that's the BMP project. And if you would like to um, check them out, you can. All you got to do is follow Simply Sabrina. Okay. 
So parting thoughts, how do we do this? If we want to celebrate something at home, if we want to make it easy on ourselves, but make it fun for the kids, and of course, something for the adults, um, there are a ton of different things we can do. We don't have to put it all squarely on our shoulders. Um, and of course, we could prepare some things on our own. We could order some things from some of our favorites. And, you know, having the opportunity to order from different vendors that have been doing this for a long time to just spice up the, the meal or spice up the dessert buffet or the table and having something there for everyone. You know, the savories for the adults with Pantry Italy and maybe some wine or sangria. Um, sangria we definitely enjoy here. Wine we enjoy as well. Um, next episode, we'll also be talking about Spanish food. So that's something that you can put on as well. I think that's also easy. Sab even makes like a great paella she'll put on the table. That's great to serve themselves as well. Um, so you could have adult flavors, kitty flavors, fun things, good for everyone. Um, fun and for everyone. right, fun and good. And you don't have to slave. And then a happy mom who puts everything out or a happy sister duo. <laughs> who <laughs> puts everything out, right? Have you guys started taking over already or is it still the titas and mom in the kitchen? Not yet. Um, I'd say it's still mostly like mom and a lot of Mo now. I guess I'm a bit busier because I'm still in college, but then I try to help every now and then. But yeah, it's just mostly them. Do you have specialties that you like? Is there something like Gia makes the gnocchi normally for us, right? What, Mo, what do you normally contribute to the meal? I think I'm more of the baker and Bella's more of the cook or the chef. So <laughs> she specializes in like her pastas are really good. And yeah, she's more of an Italian girl. She loves yeah. her pasta. I love pasta. I could live on pasta. <laughs> also bread. Up here. We, we serve a lot of freshly baked bread. So he does that. Yummy. Too. Yummy. Jing, how about Ali? Does she like to get in the kitchen with you? Yes. Um, she likes decorating Maggie's spooky kits. <laughs> so I'm sure she's going to have a blast with this. <laughs> So she likes more of the sweets. So mm -hmm. you'll do the savories and then she'll yes. she'll take care of the cookies yes. and stuff. Awesome. She does, uh, yeah. Fantastic. Sab, I know you're a one woman show over there surrounded by boys. <laughs> <laughs> and I know Sig helps out when he can. How about Sancho? Um, Sancho's an eater. <laughs> He's an eater. <laughs> We are firm believers that there are cookers and and eaters in this world, and they all we all have a part to play. Yeah. <laughs> so, I eat the food I cook, so I'm happy either way. There you go. Fantastic. Okay, guys, this is your last chance to win. Um, you can, of course, make sure that you have shared the live stream from the Rappler Facebook page or Mama and Manila. And of course, all of the goodies that you will get, you will get a heritage cake and some cookies from Mo and Bells. You'll also get a charcuterie box from Pantry Italy. You'll get some a DIY cookie kit from the Little Wisp, some macarons from the from Fat Fingers, a spider web pie from Sinfully Sabrina. And you'll get some brownies from the Mescloon Project, as well as a DIY Scott's Halloween themed cake. And of course, a board to put it all on, right? So Kahoy Philippines will be sending out a board for everyone. Looks like we have lots of, lots of people who are ready to answer this question. So here's the last and final question. And then we will, of course, get some information from all of our guests so that you can follow them on social media as well. What popular TV series served as inspiration for the Halloween gathering that Sabrina and I put together? Now, of course, remember, this is question number correct answer number four. You have to be the fourth person to answer this question correctly. And of course, guys, these are all DIY tips and tricks that you can try at home if you're going to try them. And of course, when you receive your goodies 
from all of um, our partners today, please make sure you tag us. We want to see what you make. We want to see your boards. We want to see your cakes. We want to see your, you know, what you put together for your Halloween gathering. And all you have to do is tag us so we could see it and repost it. And of course, we might even learn something from you as well. Um, be sure to tag our partners. And of course, guys, you know that you don't, it doesn't have to be difficult. You can spend time in the kitchen and it can be super easy with the help of your friends, which I'm so happy I have. You have friends on the call today. Yes, I do. <laughs> and I have friends on the call today. And guys, in case you didn't know, Jim Santos has won quite a few times. So she really is a watcher and a viewer <laughs> of Kitchen 143. So she's the perfect guest to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a winner and okay so we have um you want to announce erica castillo one erica erica castillo one and um i think congratulations. she's a recent winner too. So congratulations congratulations you have won all of these goodies okay so before we close out with everyone let us she answered correctly with game of thrones um let's start with mo and bells where can everyone find you what's your website how do they order um and your instagram handle or however you take orders okay so they can message us through facebook or instagram um, on Facebook, we're Mo and Bells. On Instagram, we're at Mo and Bells Bay. And in the next two weeks, we'll be um, having our website up. So perfect um, in time for the holidays. We'll be putting out their holiday offerings and giveaways. So message us anytime. Thank you for having us, Tita. Yeah. We're so glad that you could join us. Stay yeah. on. Don't go away. Um, Jing, where can everybody find your cheese board adventures and how can they follow you if they have any questions on how to create sure. the perfect cheese board? Yeah, they can follow me on Instagram. My personal account is at Jing D. Santos. And if they're more into the cheese plating kind of thing, they can follow my cheese account at Cheese Plate MNL. Fantastic. And you can also ask Jing where to get that very accurate, um, meticulous <laughs> cheese board, yes. right? We both, Send me a we message. Love that board. Yeah, we love that board. <laughs> we, both, yeah. we have that board from Bright Brands as well. So, yes. yes. Um, and then Sab, B&P Project, tell us where, um, tell the viewers where they can follow and order. And if you have any new products coming up. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at Sinfoli Sabrina. Um, I usually have a limited number of slots because, as Mish said, I'm a one woman show for the pies and the bocarones. So I put up um, order forms every two weeks. And um, for new flavors, uh, none yet. <laughs> none yet. Yeah, I'll okay. work on it soon. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, that is a wrap. So, um, and Gia, if anyone wants to follow you, are you still private? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can um, see me on hers. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Actually, if you want to see her, her cakes and her things that she bakes, her I usually use her kitchen adventures. I usually use the hashtag Gia Baked because she always does fun things with me. So you would see like posts of hers from like when she was 11 and still making, you know, very, very cute cakes. Wow. It's so cute. I will not take them down. Um, so that's a wrap. Um, I am Michelle Ventajado. I am so glad that you have spent time with us here in Kitchen 143. If you'd like to tune in in two weeks time, we will be exploring Spanish food. And of course, Guys, um, you know where we are. If you have any questions, you can also um, shoot them over on, at the Mama and Manila Facebook page or here on the Rappler stream, and we will certainly answer them. Thank you, and see you soon. Bye.